So we are at the gym now. Um, I have so much pent up, like, feels like a nervous energy right now. I have no idea why. Um, but we are doing deadlifts today. Um, I hope you like that little intro thing. That's my physique at the moment, sitting at 80 kilos. So, pretty happy. Um, definitely gonna keep going, obviously. But, yeah, I kinda can't think at the moment. My legs are all like, jump in everything like I'm I don't know why I'm just I'm freaking out right now but I feel good other than that and yeah I'll get in there and I'll talk to you guys when I'm there so we are in the gym now and just done a little bit of like stretching and stuff doing some pull ups now just a little bit of warm up get the blood flowing a bit and then we'll get into it but um yeah I feel really good felt nice and loose so See how we go. I just wanna... person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. By thoughts I mean specifically chatter in the skull, perpetual and compulsive repetition of words, of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying that thinking is bad. Like everything else is useful in moderation. A good servant, but a bad master. And all so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become crazy and self-destructive because 
through excessive thinking they have lost touch with reality. That's to say, we confuse science with the real world. Most of us would have rather money than tangible wealth. And a great occasion is somehow spoiled for us unless photographed. And to read about it the next day in the newspaper is oddly more fun for us than the original event. This is a disaster. For as a result of confusing the real world of nature, with mere signs, we are destroying nature. We are so tied up in our minds that we've lost our senses. Time to wake up. What is reality? Obviously, no one can say because it isn't words. It isn't material, that's just an idea. Reality is... The point cannot be explained in words. trying to put you down. It's an expression of you as you are. One must live. We need to survive. Radio guys, so that was my deadlift day today. Yeah, started off with some pull-ups and a bit of stretching just to warm up. Went into daddies, went up to a heavy top set, and then yeah, went into some accessory work and just did some close grip pull downs. Just really focusing on my, my muscle connection all the way through that, and then just some neutral grip rows as well, cable rows as well. So, pretty chill day in terms of volume. Intensity was pretty high. Went into the gym with good hair and came out looking like an afro which is why the hat went on halfway through the video yeah super keen to keep progressing with deadlifts the way i am it's going really well my bulk is also back on the up since getting these on i think i'm still sitting at around 80.5 kilos i think i'm still pretty much the same yeah everything's going well so it was a super good session really happy oh and the uh my new pre just arrived in the mail i got the david Ledge. Euphoria black cherry flavor. I will give that a whirl tomorrow morning and I will let you guys know on my Instagram how that turns out. Heard good things, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I think that was pretty much everything for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. We must go on. <laughs>